Now, Gilly, what's on Gilly's grill for this week? Well, this week, after the Dockers had a great win over the Eagles on the weekend, I've got to mention Jonathan Griffin because the Dockers, Clark's been missing, Sandlin's been missing. I've got to give this bloke a lot of credit because he was the reason behind them winning the game. He doesn't get a lot of the ball, but he gets a lot of taps. But I'll tell you one thing I love about him. It's what he does off the ball. And, and whether that means uh, blocking spaces for the opposition, it doesn't matter. He does a team job. He's got a big future for this bloke and he's, played, he's gone to another level since Ross Lyons taken over. He was, he was very good. You took West Coast, didn't you? I took West Coast <laughs> and I can't believe I didn't pick the Dockers because I've always followed he them, but nah, nah, he, he was good. Do- he took the Dockers for top four and he took West Coast. Well, where would you tip West Coast for the finish? Boys, it's not about West Coast, it's about Jonathan Griffin, <laughs> yeah. alright? So forget about the team we selected. Good luck for you. <laughs> he has actually been around the AFL scene for quite a few years. He was over in Adelaide and then he played a really outstanding game with the Aboriginal All-Stars a couple of seasons ago and he really yep. showed that he had it to play at AFL level and as you mentioned, now he's got his opportunity and he really played a really good game. And, and that's what I love about Ross Lyon, is he can make you go to another level that you can't, that you don't even think you could. So good luck to <laughs> should, Griffin should, for the rest of all. We should get him on the, the panel so you yeah. can go to another level. <laughs>